Let me ask you something. Do you pray to God? What do you ask for? Do you pray for safety? Do you pray for shelter? Do you pray for food? Do you pray for your kids? Do you think maybe other beings want those things too? Have you heard the cries of a desperate mother? The kind where no legible words are uttered but much is said? And much is understood? <coughs> this happens with humans too. Your strict loyalty to your children is perhaps your most direct link to nature. It's one of your most primitive instincts, and yet it brings out the best in you. It can lift cars and move mountains. It's what you share with all living beings. Besides the fact that you share DNA with other earthlings, let this be one of your first lines of connection to them, to those that you share the planet with. You like to point out how much more advanced you are, how much smarter you are than the animals, and how great you are then all the greater responsibility you have to act justly. It is you that can answer the pleas, the prayers, if you will, of the other animals. You can pardon them. I pardon you. You can choose not to destroy their homes. You can decide to give them access to food and clean water. You can choose to do this, but largely you do not think twice about the little bird or the little squirrel family. But you sure are quick to pray, worry, and intercede for your own family. On the earth, you are great. In the universe, you are small as ants. And when you die, you go into the same ground. And like the other animals, you leave behind loved ones. You have asked for many things and many prayers, but have you ever sought to be someone's answer? <laughs>